Today's video is going to be my Sephora VIB must-haves. I know we are all waiting on pins and needles for tomorrow's sale. I'm sure all of you guys have your cards filled already, so I don't know if this is going to help you out, but these are some of the things that I would recommend that you buy if you don't have them already. I'm going to jump into the biggest surprise of the century. This is actually in stock, and I am so excited Is it's in stock for the sale because I think a lot of you would love this, and it is the Viseart, the Viseart Basic Matte Palette. This is, I feel, so worth the money. These are all extremely creamy. They just glide on your lids with such ease. You can get a ton of different looks, whether you want warm or cool, and they're, it's just amazing. It's, I know it's a hefty price tag, but I really feel that if you are kind of on the fence of maybe like a Kat Von D palette versus this, I would go for this only because, I don't know about you, but I feel like I buy all these palettes and I just gravitate towards certain ones. And this one is one of the ones that I always use if I'm in doubt what I want to wear. So I absolutely love it and honestly, like just look how creamy those colors are they are so buttery smooth and you save 15 percent so that's really not that bad i'll just continue with eyeshadows but the next one that i've been loving is the bobby brown coco this is like a beautiful warm tone brown shade and i love her single eyeshadows i said it in the past i think that her palettes are total crap but this is a beautiful warm brown shade that just uh, will really suit any eye look. I'm wearing it today on the outer corners and oh my gosh, I love I'm going to switch gears and go to skincare, but I think you all knew that I was going to suggest this because this is a skin game changer. So I'm not going to go too much into it because I have talked about it a ton, but the reviews speak for itself. If you want to change your skin, and I'm talking in a matter of days, this is the product that you want and you get to save 15% on it. It is absolutely amazing. It has changed my skin. Um, it is just a miracle worker and you wear it at night. It's the Luna Oil from Sunday Riley and I highly recommend it. Nothing that I have tried has made my skin, has changed my skin or made it more even and glowy and wrinkle free than this product. And hands down, it blows my mind every time I wear it each night. So. Uh, this for sure is like high up there on you've got to get it list. I was talking to my friend Melissa Prada and she was telling me how in my last hour in my last video which was the hourglass bronzer uh, review she was saying she was asking me what I was wearing on my skin because it looked airbrushed and I thought to myself well it wasn't the foundation because I've worn the YSL Touche Clap foundation in other videos and I thought oh my gosh it's got to be this powder this is the Tarte smooth operator Amazonian, Amazonian clay powder this is basically airbrush your airbrushing in a compact uh, this really does make your skin look extremely even and smooth it hides pores wrinkles it kind of moisturizes where it needs to, where there needs to be moisture and then sucks up the oil if you have oily areas so then your skin looks really even and smooth and just flawless all day long i highly recommend this so if you were on the fence if this was not even on your radar you have got to try it because i think it would work for every skin tone i have super dry skin this has saved my life and just really perfect. Okay, so since I actually, so since I did that whole hourglass bronzing comparison and it was not working for me, that doesn't mean that it, will, it won't work for you. So if you uh, watched that video and were really let down, buy it if you're still kind of on the fence and see if it works for you. It just was way too orange for my taste. I got a lot of comments asking, what bronzers I would recommend and these two came to my mind. I actually have three but it's packed away because we're moving so that's why if you hear an echo in this room a lot of the furniture has been taken out. Uh, okay so these two 
amazing. So the first one is the Becca Shadow and Light Bronzer. I actually have a divot in this one. It has a dark and a light side. So beautiful. It does have a shimmer or like a sheen to it. It doesn't really translate like that on the face. It just gives your skin a beautiful glow. I think it's very realistic and the shade is more neutral. It doesn't really lean cool or warm and that's why I think it works so well. And then the next one is the Cover FS FX Sunkissed. This is a more of a matte bronzer. It has a very, very slight sheen, but it's definitely more matte, but it does give us your skin a very pretty sun-kissed glow. It's like a beigey neutral bronzer that's perfect. You're not going to overdo it. Um, you're not going to look muddy or orange. So these two I definitely recommend. And the third one, which is packed away, is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. I think that is perfect. That is just a beautiful satin bronzer. I just don't have it to show you because I can't find it at the moment, but I really would recommend that one. I love it. Moving on to blush, I have two here. The first one is the Clinique Cheek Pops. Just get one. I think you're going to love it. This is the nude shade. I've been wearing it constantly. I wear it all the time. I love it. I'm actually going to get Pansy Pop, I think, which is more of the purpley tone. and It just came back in stock. So I would recommend getting one of these. Um, they've got a, a huge variety of shades. I did a Whole review on them and the nude pop is my favorite I love it it's just a very easy neutral blush to wear I think every time I do a VIB video I always happen to mention these Becca blushes but this shade in particular I want to recommend which is the sweet pea it is a absolutely gorgeous neutral pink color that I feel is going to work on all skin tones. There's not a lot of shimmer to it. It's more of a satiny finish, but it's beautiful. It has a lot of pigmentation and um, it's gorgeous. So one of the products from Hourglass that I would recommend, even though the bronzer is completely bombed for me, is the Ambient Lighting Palette. I love this. I really just use this all the time the dim light like kind of as a setting powder this as a highlight and then this radiant can be more of like a pretty blush color it's a very light peach shade so uh, i think it's going to go beautiful on fair tones and then if you're dark you could wear it as a pretty highlight but this is a winner i absolutely love it. another highlighting product that i love is the paracone md no highlighter highlighter this is a beautiful subtle highlighter. What I love about this is that even if I'm going to the gym or running to like Kroger or getting food, I can just put this on like the tops of my cheekbones and it just brings illumination and light to the face. When you hit 30, you lose more of that luminosity and radiance to the skin. So you want to kind of infuse it back in there and this product can help you fake it a little bit. So I love it and it's not that pricey. Let's talk about lip products real quickly. I have two that you need to try out. First of all, these Sephora cream lip stains are amazing. I have totally fallen in love with them and the two colors I have here are the Marvelous Mauve and the African Violet beautiful they set to your lips so nicely but they don't dry it out and it doesn't you don't feel like you need to like add a balm to it or you want to take it off real quickly kind of like the Ulta ones when I reviewed that Ulta matte lip cream stain I think I just it pilled up on my lips really badly these do not do that they stay creamy and like creaseless for hours so these are not that pricey and I 100% think that you should try these out. I absolutely love them. And then of course I had to include the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. And I just wanted to include one color because I feel like this color is just very different but beautiful on everybody, which is called Anna. A dark mauve pink and I absolutely am obsessed with this shade. It's beautiful. I think it'll look great on everybody and um, you've got to try at least one of these honestly I'm thinking I'm wearing I'm wearing Julie today but Julie you can only get on the NARS website but both of these are just knock it out of the park I don't talk about mascara a lot but I got a 100 point perk and I wanted to get this which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex it better be with a name like that you have pretty big shoes to fill so I I've been wearing it the past couple of days and I really love it. It adds beautiful volume to your lashes and separates them and it just makes you look like you're wearing false lashes. I really love it. The wand is very, um, it has like a 
divot in here, kind of like a curve. <laughs> I wonder if they did that on purpose. I like creamy mascara formulas. I'm not a gel person. I like, I feel like the cream formula does better with my particular lashes more than the gel. And it just, I feel, I just feel like it's more natural. So I will be getting a full size of this. There were my Sephora VIB picks. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Let me know what you think below and I will see you next time. Bye.